Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Demon Souls. I got myself a good old drinky drink because I was really thirsty at the end of the last episode. Anyway, like I said, we're heading over to the Shrine of Storms now where we will be, uh, you know, just trying to get pure white tendency. It should only take one boss to do so because, uh, you know, because of how the online feature works. Everyone's tendency tends to drift towards the average, so, uh, See as right next to pure white at all times because uh, I don't know. I, I don't actually get, understand why it would drift towards the average because everyone's going to drift towards the average and become the average, and then there's going to be even more supporting that average. It doesn't make any sense, really. At least not to me. Because it's like you know, it's, it, that'd be like that'd be like if you were to like join a maybe a. Well, I'm actually, I, I can't really think of an analogy for it, but you, you get it, right? It's just, uh, if everyone gets sucked towards the average, it just further increases that average, you know? It's not like when you start, it's like, you don't, like, start a new game, and it's it pushes everything, it pulls everything towards, the, like, the middle grounds. No, you just start out at that average, so it's not like, it, it's just, I don't know, it seems like a flawed system. It's almost impossible to get dark tendency because of it. Unless, you know, you commit suicide a billion times, and we all know how fun that is. <laughs> uh. Piss off that guy, have him come down here. Goody, goody. Ooh. But yeah, also, uh, I understand there's the, the background noise. Uh, that's my computer, unfortunately. I, it needs to be on for me to record. Uh, and it's also, it's also due to my mic, um... It picks up everything around it, and, but you know, like I like I mentioned last episode, eventually I'm gonna get a new mic, and when that happens, um, oh jeez, oh god no, <laughs> thanks. Good thing I was in phantom form when I came here, cause that would have screwed me over on this whole playthrough. Well, not the whole playthrough, but it would it would have gave me a lot of trouble. But uh, yeah, let me actually move my mouse off of the record button. I don't want it to accidentally get clicked and then stop the recording. That would just be silly. Uh. But anyway, as I was saying, yeah, once uh once you know I get a different mic, it'll record in a more like conal area. Like, you know, what's in front of it, it'll like block out the sound uh, around it. So that'll be nice. So it's you know since you know it'd be aiming at me, it wouldn't be aiming at the T V or my computer or anything like that, so I would imagine it wouldn't pick up those sounds and everything would sound a lot more clear, no uh background annoyances. But until then, I'm just gonna have to keep apologizing for it. It's an inconvenience that I don't feel like I can do anything about. I'm sure there's probably some free sound software out there somewhere, which I'm pretty sure people have actually told me about, but I got it and it just made everything way too complicated. It was like, oh, but now you also have to record your sound separately and add it on into the video editing software that is complete garbage and can't sync up. It, I mean, I think I tried to use it once, but the sound wouldn't sync up with the video at all because, you know, you need to put the sound... Uh, with the video, and you know, obviously, I, 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 the sound would be synchronized at the start, but it would also, it would end up being desynced by the end, and I think it's just because, uh, fucking Windows Live Movie Maker is goddamn garbage, and you know, people told me about other video things. Every single time I get them, it doesn't seem to know how to read the video type that these videos get recorded, and so I can't use the, uh, use those, and yeah, it's just, it's a mess. Uh, it'll all get sorted out, like, uh, like I mentioned last season. Uh, actually, wait, was it, did I mention that last season, or did I mention that in the season that I ended up scrapping? Well, either way, uh, I do have a, I've had a job for a little while now, uh, I'll be getting, you know, I'll actually be getting paychecks. It won't affect, uh, recording. Like I said, it, whatever, if you guys ever think anything's, uh, like, being held back as, like, a cause of my job, it's not. <laughs> I definitely have plenty of free time to make these videos, because I wake up at, like, four in the morning, uh, get my job done, come home and I'm usually back like before 2 p.m. so I have like the rest of the afternoon to do that uh, but uh, yeah so you know if if anything I just procrastinate a lot cuz you know sometimes I just like to in fact oftentimes I just I like to just um, sit back and just not talk and just kind of let myself get into a trance from the game and you know because it's it's fun to let that happen you just kind of you know you feel more immersed you obviously you know commentating like this it takes you completely out of the the game you know 
because I mean, how can you be immersed when you basically uh, spend the whole time talking? I guess maybe if I was playing a if I was playing a game where you play as a guy who's insane and keeps talking to people, then this would be the most immersion. This would be the most immersion building thing there is. But that's not the case here, so yeah. Right. Okay. So I got this this weapon. It's not the one I wanted, but it's be it's better than the one I have right now. So I'm going to be using this until I get it. So I'm probably also going to get the weapon that I want to get in this episode. I'm not just going to beat this area and be like, okay, all done. Just because, uh, you know, it's probably going to be, this is probably not going to be that long of a video if I didn't at least get the weapon. <laughs> you fell down. That guy fell down too, but I think he wanted to, so. Okay, it's... Actually, wait, I don't want to go this way, actually. I want to go back up here. Also, I do have the thief ring on. Okay, I was wondering if I did. I was like, I was about to check, but I see the little smoke icon on the top left there. Uh, yeah, thief ring is really nice to this level because those god dang flying manta rays will shoot the shit out of you with their sh spike poop. I don't know what it is. It's really weird. They're really weird uh, enemies. Let me get that copy. Okay, I want to just set this off because I can. <laughs> right now, let's go and save Grave Robber Blige. I always forget what his name is. I always I'm like, is it Bilge? Is it Blige? Or whatever. I think it's Blige. Kind of an odd name, too. I mean, probably not odd for the people who made it. But, uh, yeah, you know. Because, I mean, how many people do you know in real life that are named Blige? I can't think of any. But then again, <laughs> I don't go out much, so... I don't meet a lot of people, so, you know. I guess my whole opinion on it is utterly invalid. Or, not opinion, but just, you know, my whole... Uh, what I can c contribute to that is uh, utterly invalid, because it's nothing, really. Right. Just keep rolling, 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 rolling. Right. Let's set off these guys and jump back. Probably the one use backstep has in this game. Oh yeah, okay. Thought I was gonna get clusterfucked there, but I just kept swinging and I ended up hitting him each time, so that was nice. One thing that's nice about the, like no poise in the game is the enemies don't really have poise either. So as long as you get the first hit, you can keep swinging. Right. Yep, Blige. Okay. Let us buy armor because I like to try to collect all of the armor that I can. Because, you know, dress up souls. Uh, yeah, that's all. Right. Okay, let's go. I believe there's an item over here. I want to get all the items. All the items. If there's an item and I don't have it, I want it. Ooh. Heard that. I hate those guys so much. Just because, of, you know, if they, uh... If they're, you know, if you don't have some sort of ranged move, you can't really do anything about them. You just gotta be like, okay, I'll just keep running away from them. And dodging the moves. Show me your moves. Ooh! Okay. <sighs> Trying to get a bit of distance. So, because I want to get the. Ooh.
Uh, sorry about that. Somebody was trying to talk to me. Hopefully, my mic isn't messed up because I talked about it last time how the muting the mic messes up. But I kind of did that out of reflex because I didn't want to have, start having a conversation with somebody else while recording. I should have just uh, said recording right now, talk later, or something like that. Because I mean, they know I do this, so so they they would understand. Hopefully the sound isn't messed up though. I mean, actually, I don't think it would be because the one time I did that, I muted it, unmuted it during the video, but then all the sound was gone, and that didn't that doesn't make sense. So, yeah, should be fine. I mean, I still see the sound bar going all crazy on the audio input thing, but all the same, I think the audio was you know it was showing that it was there uh, before. Fucking messages in inconvenient spots. Let's get up here. Up in here. Up in here. There's also there's there's actually multiple items that are quite well not there's mainly there's mainly one that's really important on this level. There are other less important. Oh god, pardon me. I'm bleeping a lot. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, there's a uh, there's a lot of items that are nice. Uh, some are less important than others, obviously, but there's one maybe really important one. There's a lot of lesser important ones. There are some that maybe aren't even important at all, but I just really want to get because they're nice to have. Because you never know when you're gonna want them. Whew, trying to avoid that without, yeah. yeah. Anyway, ah. Oh. Come here. Come here. Kick your teeth. Get over here. Do your jumping attack. I like when you do that. Do your jumpy move. Yes. There you go. Get behind him. Ah, oh, God, I failed at backstabbing. Normally I can backstab this guy, no problem. Just like that. There we go. But I had some trouble that time. Now we just backstab chain him to death by hitting him as he gets up and then his back is just immediately facing us. I remember before I figured that out, these guys were actually like pretty difficult, but uh... just because their attacks hit so damn hard. But uh, nope, now I just do that. No problem. Alright, now, run past Golden Men, because they're dick bags. Especially this last one. He's the biggest of the dick bags. Okay, good, he didn't do anything. Sometimes they'll, like, start the swing immediately as you're approaching, and you have to, like, roll at the absolute perfect time, otherwise they'll, like, they'll clip your foot, and it's, like, a one-shot kill, and it's really aggravating, because then you gotta run all the way back. But that didn't happen. He was more just like, I'm gonna hold up my weapon here. I'm gonna get you. Look at how shiny I am. Right, okay. Heading over to one of the really important items. Yeah, I don't really care about this guy. Get down there. Okay, see ya. I kind of wish the it gave you the uh, rocks as you killed them, like it does in. Uh, oh, I forgot to get that. I think it's just a, I think it's just a talisman, which I can always just get later. Uh, I wish it just put the rocks in your inventory when you killed them, but I guess maybe that wouldn't work out so well because of the over encumbrance system. Oh, actually, no, it could just it could just put it at your feet if if you're over encumbered, like a lot of like a lot of things. And let's put the regenerator ring on because the thief ring. Actually, wait, let's wait. Wait till we're in here because the golden skeletons might uh, want to kill me if I put it on out there. I don't know if I'm. St I don't know if they're still just kind of like considering attacking me or something like that. Sometimes the aggro range can be a bit wonky, but we'll put it on before we go into this boss room. All right, you're dead. 
generator ring? Where are you? There you are. Okay. Get uh, eight health back every two, or get four health back every second. It's really nice. Down. Okay, now let's just hit him in this little dumb, big dumb bird head. I might have to knock him down three times. Nope. Okay, if I if I get the heavy attack in at the very last second, it looks like I might be able to get him down in the second go. Ooh. Okay, that pillar almost blocked me. Stupid pillar, get out of my face. Make sure our stamina is at least close to full before we knock him down. There we go. Get him! Get him! Get him! Yeah, okay, got him down in two. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright. I revived. Forever back. Forever back. Let us go back to the Nexus, and we're going to get that weapon because it's, like, right near the start of this level. I don't need to, like, dedicate myself to completing the level once I get it because it's nice and towards the start. Alright, so let's also level up while we're here. It's also very important that I don't get my health uh, beyond about, I think it's like 850, 875, something like that. Because of uh, the wo uh, the weapon I'm going to get, it's going to make my health uh, go away over time. It's uh, based on like uh, my total health, like it's one percent. So, and the regenerator ring it, it makes you lose one percent every two seconds, and the regenerator ring restores four health every second. So you know I'll be getting eight health each time I lose health from the weapon that drains my health. So I want to I want to make it so my health the one percent of my health is eight or less, so I'm not losing health over time. So uh, let's put some points in vitality. And we need to make sure we don't go above like 850, which we can't even do right now. So, so let's go and get this uh, katana. Have a sip of my drink while loading screens here. Apologies if you can hear the disgusting sound of me drinking a beverage but uh, yeah don't know if the new mic will fix that because uh, that's right where it, the drink goes right into where words come out so right so remain blah de yada yada let us see what you have here Nothing new, I believe. I actually just realized I actually run the risk of it being invaded because uh, I mean, I've been seeing a lot of player activity, and I'm about the right level for people to invade me in this area. So, uh, yeah, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Ooh, okay. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Ooh, just gonna bail out of here. Don't want to worry about those guys. Want to get my weapon? I'll kill them on the way out. It'll be much easier because I'll have this weapon. All right? He kicks me out of the pit. The weapon is on the ground, thank goodness. So, world tendency is pure white. Let's talk to this guy. I did too, I'm a priest, but I care a lot about money. He told me there was money down here. Maybe he said there was something else down here. Who knows? Magic Sword Makoto. That is the weapon that I love. I might not be able to fast roll. Yeah, okay, I'm going to take off my helmet. All right. There we go. Okay. We're all set with our weapon. If I can just hit him or parry him or anything. There we go. Ba boom! All that damage. Six one nine. Oh yeah. See my health bar jumping back and forth from now on because you know regeneration mixed with. Uh... Oh, and there's black eye stone. It's also really nice to get. 
Right, so I think what I'm going to be doing for the playthrough is I'm going to be trying to get pure white character tendency at first, and then once I've gotten that, I'm going to go the complete opposite end of the spectrum, get pure black. Maybe I'll just try to get pure black. I mean, I don't see much reason to get pure white other than to get the friend ring and to have more health when you're in phantom form. But let's face it, the idea is to, n is to not be in phantom form. So, you know... Because also, I mean, I want to get pure black tendency by the end of this playthrough. And I imagine that'd be pretty hard unless maybe I invade people. So, you know, maybe there'll be some some invasions towards the end. I mean, I can't be 100% sure because it's actually... Oh, wait. Instead of me cutting my way through all of these guys to get back up, why don't you just kill the Grim Reaper, man? We can make short work of him because we have this sword now. And we get good souls. This is actually a good soul farming location, especially if you can get the uh, uh, what's it? evacuate spell, which I will technically be able to use with this character. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to. I might do farming here later if I want to. Maybe just so I can. Maybe maybe I'll be a little bit short on stats. Maybe to get something, I'll be like, ah, oh, yeah, I want to get that, so I'm going to farm here for a bit. But you know, but yeah, I believe the best way to get pure white character tendency is uh which is when you get invaded and you kill a phantom they uh they change your tendency close to pure white character tendency and then obviously when you, when you want to get pure black character tendency you want to invade players and murder them and kill npcs which may mean that i might have to get that on the second playthrough which would be a shame because i really would like to get all the stuff that is to be offered on the first playthrough but with that, though, let's go back and level up, drop off any equipment we don't want, and that will be the end of this episode. Actually, I'm probably going to be filling around with equipment for a bit, so you know, if you want, if you want to see that, uh, then by all means, uh, stick around. But other than that, uh, if you like the video, you know, do a whole like, commenting, and subscribing thing, especially if you want to see uh, more Souls videos, and because uh, you know, I, I would like to upload these once every day when the season starts. Obviously, between seasons, there's going to be a little break. Uh, because I like to have a couple episodes recorded up in advance, so I don't have to worry about like missing a day. Of course, if I do miss a day, it's because I don't have automatic uploads online for my YouTube, and uh, it's just because I would never really have the chance to get to a computer and upload it. But yeah, anyway, I will see you guys. Well, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna see you guys in the episode because I'm still gonna be fiddling around here in the Nexus for a bit. But if you're leaving early because you don't want to see me fiddle with my gear, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Are they gone? Okay, good. Those guys were those guys were scrubs. Nobody likes them. You guys are the cool ones. You guys stuck around. See all the gear fiddling. Right. Okay. So here's what we want to do. We want to deposit all of our rocks. And the other thing we want to do is I want to do a little experimentation with some of the gear. Don't need these dang light arrows. Okay, so uh, let's take out a bunch of my armor because I'm going to be fiddling around with it now. Oh, I can't. Well, I'm, actually, I'm not going to be using the brushwood armor, so let me actually put those away so I have the proper equipment uh, thing to hold it all. So, yeah. Brushwood. I might use the brushwood legs. I think those actually look pretty cool. So. Uh, let's take some items. Also, yeah, I don't really like the way the fluted helmet looks. Actually, let's get the brushwood gauntlets out, because those also look pretty cool. Alright, so let's swap out the thief ring with the ring of great strength, and let's see what we can actually uh, wear on our character for now. I'm hoping maybe the entire lower three pieces of, flu of the fluted set. I can. That's cool. By how much? What's our equipment? What's our equipment burn at? Thirty-four point three out of sixty-nine. Uh, yeah, it's actually like I'm like literally had point two equipment burden to work with there. So this is actually probably the most ideal. Obviously, you know, it lowers my stamina recovery slightly because it's a bit heavier. This really increases fire resist, not significantly, but this gives more armor. Yeah, I mean, I, I like this. I like this. I like the fluted set. Like I said in the first episode, I like the way the fluted set looks on the female characters. It's a bit more colorful with the red and the brown, as opposed to just being like all silver and gray. 
Uh, yeah, so yeah, I'll put the rest of this back and that'll just about do it. All right. Hopefully, I will be able to wear all of this uh, without having the rear grade strength on by the time I finish leveling my endurance as high as I want to get it, which would be 40. Uh, anyway, so that'll just about do this episode. I already gave you guys a whole like, comment, subscribe feel, so I'll skip all that. I'll see you guys in the next episode where I'm thinking I'm going to be going to 2 2 up there where the mines are. Anyway, I will see you guys next time.